Today's April 3rd, 2021. We're here in Wasilla, Alaska, which is about maybe 40 minutes north of Anchorage, Alaska. We're at the Sportsman's Warehouse. The last couple weeks, the last couple days here, this Sportsman's Warehouse has been getting a lot more ammo compared to the Sportsman's Warehouse in Anchorage, Alaska. It's currently 9.40 a.m. They open 20 minutes. It's a Saturday morning. Nobody's at the front door. Myself here, another car at the parking lot. The rest is employee parking. Hopefully they have something for us. We're on the hunt for some 223, 5.56, 9mm, some 38 Special, and maybe we'll grab some 22, R L L 22 long rifle bricks if they have any. Make sure you buy in bulk when you see it. It's cheaper in the long run. We have a few cars showing up right now. These right here are customers, and the one over here, I believe they're all employee parking. Everybody's hungry for some ammunition. You guys know this is a really crazy time to be living in, to be witnessing a ammo shortage in the year 2021. I want to watch this video, these videos that I made, the ammo shortage series. I want to watch these videos in five, ten years and just be like, wow, we were doing that? We were going, we were buying that much ammo? I think in ten years we're going to go back and watch these videos, my series, and just be like, wow, was I crazy? That was impulse buy, panic buy. What do you guys think? More and more cars are showing up, guys. People can smell the ammunition. They have a seven cents now. Five more minutes, guys. Five more minutes. They're slowly, slowly creeping to the doors. Here we go with our first customer. I wonder what she needs. I wonder what everybody needs nowadays. What do you guys need the most? Handgun, rifles, 9mm, 45, 10mm. We're just gonna wait here, guys. We don't super, super duper need ammo, but we're just gonna wait and see what the deal is. Notice how nobody's getting in line. Everybody's just staying in the back and just like, uh, wait till the door open. There it goes. It's crazy, man. Imagine if it wasn't ammo. Imagine it was a food shortage. Imagine if it was a food shortage and today was the day where they get rice or steak or bread or whatever the case may be. Think about that for a second and imagine what people would go through, man. People would be way more crazier. They'd be way more ferocious. Imagine if there was a food shortage and everybody was so hungry to get their first bag of rice the bag of flour or whatever the case may be this is scary man when i think about this ammo shortage and when i compare it to like toilet paper and what people are willing to do for those products that is not even super essential imagine if it was an, an actual essential essential item such as food or water um people all over the third world country you know they don't even need toilet paper they have other ways of wiping their butts and it's crazy that us americans are so conformed to these products and these materials so there we go more and more people we're gonna go outside now check it out no ammo today guys same inventory some six mil basic six mil and some regular stuff we'll wait till everybody get out and then we'll go film some ammo empty shelves <coughs> it is a saturday 17 hornady 12 bucks 375 3 3 Aleppo 375 These are all weird calibers I mean, These are specialty calibers So it's really weird to see them have these 6.8, 260 ballistic I haven't seen Nosler for a while Man, Nosler makes good ammunition for hunting Some 6 more cream 6 mil cream ore Well guys, that's a big fail today. Like I said, it's Saturday. I think they were getting their ammos on the weekdays, Monday, Tuesday, or something like that. But this is the reload section. Nothing for the reloads. 
no powder, no primer for you guys, for all my relooks, folks. So hopefully you guys are doing good. <coughs> 50 cal. Damn, that's crazy. 55 bucks for that. 500 Smith and Weston. They've been having a lot of these guys for some reason. So whoever's making these, HSM, you got these, this company here needs to start making some other rounds. They need to start making some 9 mil. That's if they want to make some Merle money. I just check out one of the Glocks that they had. It was the Glock 19 Gen 5, and it's we're going for 540, which is a really good price. So I'll think about it if I want to get it. We'll see what happens. Well, guys, just like that, the ammo shortage is over for today. No ammo here at the Sportsman's Wasilla. Just a bunch of beautiful creatures. We'll catch you guys next time. Let us know what you guys have for us in your city, your state. One more location for you guys. This is three beers. They're like a uh, grocery store with a selection, uh, sporting selection. A lot of people know about them, so usually they have ammunition. It's called the Three Beer Alaska Outpost. These are some of the reloads here. They don't really have any ammunition or anything special here today. But these are all the reloads. No powder or no primer. Just tumbling media. Got some slugs down there. That's pretty much it for this ammo update guys. They don't have anything much. Some random some random calibers. I think a lot of people would need those calibers, but for the most part all the little popular calibers. Nothing available. I don't know when this store get their shipment, so if anybody knows what their shipment days are, let us know in the comment section below. I'm not sure if it's Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday, but I think they get their shipments on the weekdays. Catch you guys next time. Talk to you guys then.